Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be exactly what you can see in front of you. How to teach the child the concept of odd numbers and even numbers. So let's dive right into the video. So how are we going to teach the child the concept of odd and even numbers? I always make sure that there are lots of hands-on activities to make the child understand this concept and the best way to do it is to use their hands. So let's start by number one. So I tell the children a little story. We need friends to play, right? When we are on the seesaw in a park, we can't make the seesaw go all by itself. We need a friend. So when I say number one, I just have one single finger and no friend. So one is an odd number. So you can either use magnetic numbers or out here I am basically making use of post-its on which I have written the number. So the child simply puts number one in the category of odd numbers or the child can go ahead and even put magnetic numbers so either uh, you know uh, manipulative works coming to number two now i have a friend to play with on the seesaw so no friend is left alone so number two is a even number or i can put the manipulative Coming to number three, these two fingers form a pair and this is left alone, still looking for a friend. So our number three is a odd number. Coming to number four, these two fingers form a pair and these two fingers form a pair. Is there any friend left alone? No. So number four is a even number. Number five, these two form a pair and these two form a pair. Oh no, this little finger is left alone. So number five is a odd number. Number six, these two form a pair, these two form a pair, these two form a pair. No friend left alone. And so, and the child can complete the entire tape. So we have seven as odd, eight as even, nine as odd, and then you have number 10 as even. Now, what happens for numbers greater than 10? Then it's a problem. So in case of this, there is a very simple solution. What I ask the child to do is simply look at the units place so if i have a number 12 i'm going to look at the units place the units place is number two take out those many fingers find a pair so number 12 is a even number so now i'm looking at a number 43 so I'm only supposed to look at the units place, okay? Because of course I can't have 43 manipulatives to kind of form pairs. So I'm just going to look at number three. Three fingers out, form your pairs. One finger left alone. So 43 becomes a odd. Next we have number 95. So five fingers out, make your pairs. One finger left alone. So 95 becomes our odd number again. Next we have 78. So I take out eight fingers from my pairs. No finger left alone without a buddy. So 78 becomes our even number. Next I have 61. One finger left all alone to play. So 61 becomes our odd number. Next we have number 34. Four fingers out. We form our pairs. No finger left alone to play. So 34 becomes our even number. So this is one way that right from number 
zero onwards till number hundred or even greater than hundred just by looking at the units place the child can now place the numbers into the odd category or the even category so in terms of mathematics uh, the parity of number zero is considered as a even number so that is why zero comes into the category of being even so that is why 10 20 30 40 50 right till thousand ten thousand lakhs etc are all considered as even numbers and not odd numbers hope you like this video and uh, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notifications henceforth take care bye bye